and just thinking it's the best mission impossible of the franchise. <laughs> Congratulations on the film, ladies. I mean, another brilliant Mission Impossible movie. New to the franchise, what happens when you get, is it like a Mission Impossible cold and everything? They slip a suitcase outside your hotel door to tell you and then it explodes? Or what happens when you end up in a Mission <laughs> yes, Impossible a movie? Delivery. Yeah, like, right? Maybe that would be so fun. Oh my <laughs> God, he found out a job through that. Yes, exactly. And the message will self-destruct in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> How did you fi find out? Uh, so I was shooting another movie called Thunder Force, and um, I was in the in the makeup trailer. And then uh, I think my manager uh, sent me a text like, "Someone is gonna call you." And I was like, "Oh my god, it might be someone from Mission Impossible, maybe uh, Christopher McQuarrie." And uh, so I picked up my phone. I was in a parking lot, and he told me, "Are you ready?" to be in Mission Impossible. I was like, yes! So I think I yelled on the parking lot and I was very happy. I wanted to tell it to everyone, but I couldn't because it was like a secret still. So right. yeah, I think that's what happened. You're probably used to it, Vanessa. There must be so many secrets when you get the script. They, probably, they even give you all of the script. You know what I mean? I imagine it's top secret once you're in, the, like you're signing your life away until it comes out, is it? Yeah, it's pretty top secret, but I think it's it's not hard to do because everything is so kind of invented and there's so much spontaneity so even if you think it's going to be one thing it's not anymore you know yeah mm, so you're always um going with the flow of it somehow i'm sure you know this you know you, it's very uh you don't get a script you sort of they they talk you through it and then you kind of work on it together honestly we sat in that train carriage at the very beginning it was one of the safest places to, to film during covid because it could be so monitored at the very very start and then we sat there for days discussing what's going to go down on this train and what's going to happen. And um, yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember it very clearly because they so want to be led by everybody together. It's not um, a dictatorship. It's a very collaborative family. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And you get to uh, you get to um, improvise too. Oh, and really? come up with ideas and then, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, sure, let's do this. You know, for example, on the train, you know, there's like a heart and a window, you know, it was like, for example, I was like, oh, can I do that? It would be cool, right? I don't know. And Christopher Bunker <laughs> was like, yes, that's a great idea. Let's do it. So I did it. And then it's in the movie, you know, oh it was never God. in the script. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. and, and of course, you're back as the White Widow. I mean, this is a character where I want to hate her, but there's something in me, I think, that I sort of go, oh, maybe she's got, do you know what I mean? She's that kind of kind of dance on the edge, even though she's pretty villainous. Do you like that about her? What's it like to play a character like that? Mm -hmm. That wasn't me, actually. That was Vanessa Redgrave from the first movie who plays my mother. And so I watched what she did. And I remember watching when I first got the job when they said, you're going to be Max's daughter. And so you've inherited the family business from her. <clears throat> and I remember watching her in that first film going, how does she do that? How does she play so bad, but be so... Um, charming you know and, and she is anyway but mm -hmm. she's smiling through the whole thing and she's almost flirting with him yeah i just thought yeah there's how so the hell much does seduction and so much power in oh your my character goodness. well amazing. well well it's it's a it's a small percentage of what vanessa redgrave did so i just tried oh, to watch that it. a it's thousand times what she I does thought they were related i actually had to google it you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the name that's confusing oh. so, yeah the action this is crazy i mean you mentioned the train already but there's close-up combat as well palm and you've got this scene in an alley Way with Tom Cruise, that must have been pretty close close quarters, right? What was it like the action than the training that you do for a movie like this? Oh my god, we trained for months, you know. So it's like fight training, of course, but also, um, you know, you have to work on your stamina and on your like uh, to be to make sure it can be explosive, you know. Yeah. So it's sprints uphill, uh, you have to make sure that you're able to do this takes uh, to me um, uh, a lot of times in a row uh, to do the fights in several days in a row. So you have to make sure you're strong enough to do that, you know? Yeah. So um, so we did that and then to get to shoot with Tom was such a dream, you know? And um, it was very technical because uh, the alleyway is so narrow, you know? So we had to make sure that um, to, to find out where we would place the camera, how to light the scene. So it's like all these little things and uh, uh, to think of. But the crew was so incredible, you know, we, we pulled it off, but yeah. it, was, it was a challenge for sure. Yeah, and does it surprise you when you see the movie, for both of you, in that, that you haven't seen it yet on the big screen, when you see a movie like this on the big screen, the action is unbelievable. Like, does it even take your breath away sometimes when you see it, even though you're in it? Oh my God, as an audience member, I was just blown away. I saw the movie a few days ago, and I was just on the edge of my seat. 
And it's not just the action scenes, you know, the dialogue scenes are amazing, you know, the way it's shot, the, 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 the music, the, the lighting, uh, all the characters are so strong and unique. And um, after finishing the movie, I couldn't speak for a few minutes. I was just processing the movie and yeah. just thinking, it's the best Mission Impossible of the franchise. <laughs> I love it. On that note, thank you so much for thank talking you. to me. Cheers. Thank you. thank you very much. Cheers.